Okay, so Affinity just released Affinity Publisher. We've been talking about the beta for a while here on the channel. They finally have released the full version, which you can purchase from them or from the Mac App Store. And you can do it for Mac or Windows, though. And when they released the full version, they also announced a new feature called Studio Link, which is supposed to link all the Affinity applications together inside of Affinity Publisher so that you can do raster edits in Affinity Photo, do vector edits in Affinity Designer without having to actually switch programs. So we're jumping in and we're going to see what this is like. Those were always disabled in the betas, so we haven't got a chance to see it before. I have updated my apps to 1.7, which is supposed to be required for this to work, and now we're going to try. Um, when I did try it initially, it did say that you need to have the app open to verify it. So let me just show you, I have not opened up photo yet, so let's try opening it. And it will say that Affinity Photo is not installed. It will ask me to buy it now, which I am not going to do because I do have it installed. I just haven't opened it up. So, and then you can see I have opened up Designer and it says that it is successfully linked. So all you have to do is have Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo 1.7 installed and then you can link them up. So they did release a brand new, like just slight edit on those apps, which was 1.7.1, I think. So I'm not sure if those are required or not. That's what I have installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up photo and then we're going to see if we can get this. Okay, and while we're waiting for photo, let's just go ahead and let's check out designer. So I've just clicked on the designer persona up here and I am right here immediately, I have the designer options here. Now I do have designer open at this time, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and close designer, and we're gonna see if it still works and if we can still switch freely between these personas. All right, let's grab the pen tool, and let's just draw something here. Okay, that works perfectly. We have that tool. We have our color tools that we're used to having. And then we can switch back to Affinity Publisher. And we can grab our text tool. And we can do a text box. Just pop in some filler text here. Okay, so we have text. Um, looks like text wrap doesn't wrap around vector objects, or I at least don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. So we need we need to wrap around the vector object itself, and so you can see we are easily then able to just jump between them. So we can use the the native node tool to make adjustments to the node without even switching personas. But then we can go ahead and we can switch personas. We can do something like add a gradient to this guy. Perfect, so that's great. Okay, so let's see if we can get photo open here so we can do that as well. Okay, so now I have opened up Affinity Photo and so we should be able to link them together just by clicking on the photo persona. And you can immediately see that we are in Affinity Photo now but still inside of Publisher. So let's go ahead and we'll jump back to Publisher and we will place an image here. So now we'll just go ahead and we'll place the image. And from within the image now, we can just go to Photo and we can actually just start doing the photo editing right here. So let's go ahead and let's apply a vibrance layer to it. Looks like all of our layers appear here and then we have our vibrance adjustment layer. So I can bring vibrance up or down. 
So I should push that up. My saturation up slightly. So this is pretty incredible. Looks like we can even do a curves. Okay, so looks like we can pretty much do anything here. So this is amazing. This is the new Studio Link feature in the brand new launched Affinity Publisher. I'm very impressed with it so far. This really changes everything in terms of layout workflow because it means you'll be able to make adjustments to both your vector and your raster artwork without needing to switch back and forth between programs. You won't be disincentivized from making those changes. This could really make a huge difference in the work of designers. So I'm very excited about this. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Let me know if it's working for you or what you're experiencing trouble with if you are. Uh, again, just make sure that you have the current versions of Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer installed and open them up one time the same time as you have Publisher opened and it should work from there. So pretty impressive piece of software here from the guys over at Serif. Okay, I will be releasing a course on Affinity Publisher soon, so stay tuned to my Skillshare for that. And as always, remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more videos like this.